Hello, I am Trina Jolie, and for today, we're going to talk about excretory system, its function, and its part. Excretory system removes waste from the body. This waste include water, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, salts, and heat. Structure of kidney. Kidneys are reddish brown, bean shaped structures that lie in the superior lumbar region between the levels of the last thoracic and third lumbar vertebra close to the dorsal inner wall of the abdominal cavity. The right kidney is placed slightly lower than the left kidney. Each kidney weighs an average of 120 to 170 grams. The outer layer of the kidney is covered by three layers of supportive tissues namely renal fascia, pararenal fat capsule, and fibrous capsule. The longitudinal section of kidney on outer cortex, inner medulla, and pelvis. The medulla is divided into a few conical tissue masses called medullary pyramids or renal pyramids. The part of cortex that extends in between the medullary pyramids is the renal columns of Bartini. The center of the inner concave surface of the kidney is a notch called renal helium through which ureter blood vessels and nerves innervate. Inner to the helium is a, a broad funnel shaped space called the renal pelvis with projection called calyces. Structure of a nephron Each kidney has nearly 1 million complex tubular structures called nephron. Each nephron consists of a filtering cups, carpsel, renal carpsel, or malphigian body, and a renal tubule. The renal tubule opens into a longer tubule called the collecting duct. The renal tubule begins with a double walled cup shape structure called the Bowman's capsule, which encloses a ball of capillaries that delivers fluid to the tubules called glomerulus. The Bowman's capsule and the glomerulus together constitute the renal carpocell. The endothelium of glomerulus has many pores or fenestry. The external parietal layer of the Bowman's capsule is made up of a simple squamous epithelium and the visceral layer is made of epithelial cells called parasites. The parasites end in food processes which cling to the basement membrane of the glomerulus. The openings between the food processes are called filtration slits. The renal tubule continues farther to form the proximal condylated tubule or PCT, followed by a U-shaped loop of Henle or Henle's loop that has a thin descending and a thick ascending limb. The ascending limb continues as a highly coiled tubule tubular region called the distal covulated tubular or DCT. The DCT of many nephrons often into a straight tube called collecting duct. The collecting duct runs through the medullary pyramids in the region of the pelvis. Several collecting ducts fuse to form papillary duct that delivers urine into the calyces which opens into the renal pelvis. In the renal tubules, PCT and DCT of the nephron are situate, situated in the cortical region of the kidney whereas the loop of Henle is the medullary region. In majority of nephrons, the loop of Henle is too short and extends gives several food processes that form filtration slits. Interacts with the basement membrane to create a filter that retains blood cells and large protein in the plasma while permitting the passage of fluids through the filtration slit. Only very little into the medulla and are called cortical nephrons. Some nephrons have very long loop of Henle that run deep into the medulla and are called juxtamedullary nephrons or GA, JMN. The capillary bed of the nephrons. First, capillary bed of the nephron is the glomerulus and the other is the peritubular capillaries. The glomerular capillary bed is different from other capillary beds in that it is supplied by the afferent and drained by the efferent arteriole. The efferent arteriole that comes out of the glomerulus form is a fine capillary network around the renal tubule called the peritubular capillaries.
There are four basic processes in the formation of urine, starting with plasma. Filtration. Filtration is the mass movement of water on solutes from plasma to the renal tubule that occurs in the renal car carpacel. About 20% of the plasma volume passing through the glomerulus at any given time is filtered. This means that about 180 liters of fluid are filtered by the kidneys every day. Thus, the interplasma volume, about 3 liters, is filtered 60 times a day. Filtration is primarily driven by hydraulic pressure or blood pressure in the capillaries of the glomerulus. Note that the kidneys filter much more fluid than the amount of urine that is actually excreted, about 1.5 liters per day. This is essential for the kidneys to rapidly remove waste and toxins from the plasma efficiently. Reabsorption. Reabsorption is the movement of water and solutes from the tubule back into the plasma. Reabsorption of water and specific solutes occurs at varying degrees over the inner length of the retinal tubule. Bulk reabsorption, which is not under hormonal control, occurs largely in the proximal tubule. Over 70% of the filtrate is reabsorbed here. In addition, many important solutes like glucose, amino acids, bicarbonate, are actively transported out of the proximal tubule such that their concentrations are normally extremely low in the remaining fluid. Further, bulk reabsorption of sodium occurs in the loop of Henel. Regulated absorption, in which hormones control the rate of transport of sodium and water depending on systemic conditions, Take pla takes place in the distal tubule and collecting duct. Secretion Even after filtration has occurred, the tubules continue to secrete additional substances into the tubular fluid. This enhances the kidney's ability to eliminate certain waste and toxins. It is also essential to regulation of plasma, potassium, concentrations, and pH. Execration Execration is what goes into the urine the end result of the above three processes. Although the original concentration of a substance in the tubule fluid may initially be close to that plasma, subsequent reabsorption and or secretion can dramatically alter the final concentration in the urine. The amount of a particular substance that, ex that is excreted determined by the formula. Amount excreted is equal to Amount filtered minus amount reabsorbed plus amount secreted. And that's end for our discussion for today. Hope you learned something from me today. Thank you.